And it's touchdown after 17 hours of an extraordinary journey. NASA astronaut Sunita Williams has finally returned to Earth. And we're now being joined by former ISRO chief S. Somnath on the broadcast. Sir, a very good morning to you. Indeed, uh, a very good morning as uh, finally uh, Sunita Williams and the Crew 9 is back on Earth after uh, facing nine months long ordeal. Uh, but uh, help us understand what are the challenges that lie ahead for them? Uh, of course, all of us know that uh, living in space under a microgravity environment really causes uh, human body to change a little bit, uh, especially when you are not having uh, the force of gravity working against your muscles, your fluid flow. Uh, the physiological changes do happen in the body. Uh, this could be in the form of uh, muscle loss, uh, in terms of the percentage of the muscle content, uh, or also it, it could be in the form of uh, uh, the uh, bones also losing its uh, density. So it makes uh, the body really weak, uh, and it requires adaptation over a period of time to recover uh, the muscle strength as well as the bone density. Uh, as much as I know that this also could take some time uh, of controlled uh, physiological, physical you know, exercises and other food routines possibly could revert most of those uh, issues that will happen over long duration of stay. Uh, but some of the residual issues may remain. But many of the changes that are happening possibly have been documented and well under control uh, in the astronauts' uh, studies that have been uh, done elsewhere. So this process will be the one which will be taking place for people who stay for long duration, including Right. Also, sir, India is also designing and executing its own Gaganyaan mission. So what lessons can India and ISRO take from this mission? I believe that uh, one of the important lessons that we must uh, understand that this human spaceflight missions always cause a huge amount of risks. And the risk mitigation, including such scenarios, uh, in case that you go travel in a space vehicle and get uh, in the situation that you are not in a position to come back, uh, then what are the options that are left to you? And how do you really mitigate them? Uh, and if you have a space station like the Mars Amber Station that you are aspiring to build in the next few years, and in such cases also, we must have alternate options to bring them back. Uh, so we have our own space capsule, and uh, one of the options which I should think that uh, there must be a second capsule available, always stand by in case that you get into problem with one of them uh, technically, and they should be able to take the next one and travel back. And another option, of course, is to look at international cooperation in such rescue missions. And uh, that in requires uh, collaborative working uh, and standardization of interfaces, which includes the docking interfaces, electrical interfaces, commanding interfaces, and many, many others. And requires working with them to make sure there is a global standard. And this is essential, not for India alone, but for many other nations, to create a reasonable amount of standards uh, for mutual operation uh, in case of uh, rescue. But there are inst instruments available for uh, crew rescue. But then coming to space, of course, everybody goes to their own proprietary design, which makes the interoperability one of the huge challenge, which I believe should be addressed in the due course of time. Right. Mr. Somnath, also a mission that was meant for uh, eight days ended up being nine months long. So how do uh, astronauts, you know, mentally prepare themselves for uh, extension of this magnitude? They are already, you know, very capable people. They are not astronauts just by, by uh, destiny alone, but they have prepared themselves uh, very well in terms of training and uh, psychological preparations to handle such uh, issues. Uh, and that enables them to stay for much longer time. For in this case, uh, Sunita Williams, uh, she is not, she's a veteran. Well, she uh, stayed there for much longer periods in, in, the, in the past. So it's not new for her. New for her. Only issue here being that you travel for a shorter duration and end up for a longer duration. But in some of many other cases, they, they plan for longer durations. But like Sir Williams, there were other astronauts as well who stayed for much longer duration than originally not originally planned. So these uh, are uh, issues which they are trying to handle. Uh, but in, uh, but you look at the scenario today, the international space station is a very nice place. They are getting uh, replacement cargoes waste disposals and lead quarters are very comfortable, you know, reasonably comfortable and not like Earth-like uh, environments. 
which enable them to understand and then live for a long time. And they are also a company of people. So they are not uh, standard alone for a long time. Loneliness is a major issue in space. But this, in this case, it is not so. So I do not see it as a serious challenge. But of course, keeping it in uh, suspense for a long time could be a, a challenge for anyone. Absolutely. Uh, Mr. Somnath, what could this uh, successful return of Sunita Williams and the crew mean for uh, the inspiring future astronauts? Uh, Sunita Williams being a connection to having a connection to India, being a lady, it creates uh, you know, such a nice feeling for all of us. For her to endure such a long education space mission, to be a pioneer in testing a new spacecraft with all its associated risks. Uh, like the Boeing Starliner, she volunteered to work with them and then take the first mission. It's a huge uh, salutation to her. And then, uh, very knowing very well the risks associated with such missions, enduring such long duration stage should enjoy many, not for Indians alone, but for the whole world. I think such uh, daredevil acts of human beings are only you know, made uh, space journey and missions to space possible in the, in the past and will continue to inspire uh, for us as well as for the whole world. Right. Mr. Somna, thank you so much for speaking to Mirror Now and sharing all those details and insights. And so that was former ISRO Chief S. Somnath uh, talking exclusively to Mirror Now on the successful return of Sunita Williams and uh, the crew.